Now let's check back in with Stormwatch 12 Chief Meteorologist Matt Hoffman. Matt, last week we were enjoying summer-like, dipping into fall temperatures. Mm -hmm. What a difference a week makes. Yeah. Our first snow already. Yeah, snow up at Crater Lake. Take a look at this photo. Troy sending in. This was about 11 a.m. this morning. A nice coating of snow up at Crater Lake. Uh, but back behind the system, we are going to see a cold night tonight. Those temperatures are tumbling out there. It's 32 in Klamath Falls, 31 degrees in Lakeview, already into the 20s in Chamalt and Christmas Valley. We're sitting at 43 in Grants Pass in Medford, down to the 30s in the Shasta Valley in Montague, and milder at the coast, 54 degrees in Brookings. But inland, it is going to be awfully cold and frosty. A freeze warning in place. All of our west side valleys, the Mount Shasta area, midnight to 9 a.m. on your Friday. A low is as cold as 25 degrees. That's mainly going to be into some of those valleys in Siskiyou County. But we could get some temperatures, especially in the Illinois Valley, uh, to dip to as low as 30 degrees. But in Medford Grants Pass, more than likely will stay just above the freezing mark, but do still play plan on some frosty conditions. We will see a warm up though as we head into the weekend. It's going to be fairly quiet for us now in Southern Oregon and Northern California. Mostly sunny skies the next couple of days at least. There is a pretty powerful atmospheric river going to bring a ton of rain uh, to British Columbia, but it's going to stay to our north over the next few days. But eventually it will work its way through Southern Oregon and Northern California, mainly to start next week. In the meantime, your Friday forecast, mostly sunny for the coast, breezy up to 66 in Brookings. 64 in Port Orford, Northern California temperatures bumping up a little bit tomorrow afternoon. 63 in Wairika, 61 in Mount Shasta after a cold start in the morning. East of the Cascades starting off in the teens to lower 20s will rebound into the mid to upper 50s for most spots tomorrow. 57 in Klamath Falls up to 55 in Chamalt. Up into the mountains mostly sunny Lake of the Woods getting up to 54, 62 in Prospect and 61 the forecast high for Butte Falls and then in the Rogue Valley mid to upper 60s expected tomorrow 67 in Medford up to 68 in Grants Pass and then uh, those temperatures keep climbing into the week Weekend, getting into the 70s Saturday and Sunday in the Rogue Valley, and then we'll be up near to around 70 for the base. And those mornings, though, will stay rather cold. And we could be looking at some more frosty conditions even in the Rogue Valley uh, to start off Friday, especially outside, uh, start off Saturday rather outside of Medford and Grants Pass. Also this weekend, big weekend, a haunting on Mount Ashland. It's their first time uh, doing this event to celebrate uh, the Halloween season. And it's going to be chilly if you're going to be heading up there this weekend, but we should stay dry for all the spooky festivities uh, right through Sunday. Here's a look at Stormcast as we go uh, through Friday, mostly sunny skies. We're going to stay dry as we go through your Saturday as well. Just a few passing clouds. That's about it. Temperatures will be warmer this weekend, but here comes that storm system. Most of Sunday is looking dry, but this rain will eventually work into the region, especially as we go into Sunday night on into Monday another system to watch late next week. Your seven day forecast shaping up like this. Uh, we'll get that chance for rain for the coast mainly into Sunday evening, but the next couple days are looking fairly bright and warmer as well. Northern California temperatures trending back up into the 70s Saturday and Sunday. The chance for rain on Monday, the Klamath Basin cold mornings, but those afternoons will be getting milder, especially as we head into this weekend for the mountains as that next system comes in on Monday. Snow levels will be higher, so mainly just looking at rain with that system on Monday and then in the Rogue Valley warming up. We'll get those temperatures topping out in the 70s for a couple days, but cooling off a bit on Monday with some rain likely in the forecast.